please welcome to the stage Doc and Threat. Doc and Threat. All right. We're going to start with you, okay? Pretty much. What's your name? My name is Doc. Brett <laughs> just chilling. Feeling <laughs> like ain't nothing happening. Uh, where you from, bro? From Jersey City. Yeah. I take it this is threat? Yes, it is. Yeah, okay. Um, how long have you and threat been together? Three years. Three years, yeah. All right. Doc, you and threat, go ahead on out there. I'd like to tell y'all a story. This story is about my dog, Fred. Check it out. Yo, it was 1991 when I got Fred. He was a big bull puppy, the perfect pet. Sit. And as I kick it to you, I'm gonna tell you all the things that he used to do. He used to drink a whole six pack. Get drunk as a drunk and lay out on his back. Like if that wasn't enough. He used to wake up in the morning and bum rush my gold pup. He followed me so much he started stalking. I told Fred to beat it, he started moonwalking. That boy right there could say. That the dog. That sister can sing. Well, we need some help. Kiki. Shepard. Kiki's mommy. A crush velvet Q-tip. Luscious. Very lovely. Kiki's dress was made from the lapels of her man's tuxedo. Y'all show your love for Abby Dobson. Carol Wilson. Nivia Latson. Doc and Flint. Well, Doc, 
Let me talk to you for a second. I don't want to talk to the dog, the, the lead threat over there. How you feel, brother? I feel good, man. I want everybody to know, bring this back home to Jersey City. I want to say what's up to my moms, my boy Rab Dawn. Okay, that's wonderful. Y'all stay right here. We'll be back with more. We're bringing on dog and owner lookalikes, but first, take a look at this triple trick treat from a dog named Threat from Doc Franklin of Jersey City, New Jersey. Good boy. Some people think dogs aren't smart. Why? Because they scratch themselves and spend half the day chasing their tail? That's half the Hollywood community. Well, you're about to see a smart dog, I tell you, as we go to the Franklin family from Jersey City, New Jersey, playing Simon Says with their Simonized dog. Let's play Simon Says. Hi, y'all. Hi. How y'all doing? Hi. Y'all ready to play some Simon Says? Yeah. All right, here we go. Y'all know how to play? Yeah. All right. Simon Says, speak. Hi. All right. Simon Says, put your hands in the air. Put it down. Simon says, up. <laughs> knee. Up, you out. You out. Simon says, knee. All right. What are you doing so far? Simon says, lay. Four, y'all. Up, you out. That's two out. We got two people left. Here we go. Simon says, four. Simon says, stay. Simon says, moonwalk. <laughs> Simon says, stop. Simon says, play that. These kids are good. Come here, y'all. All right, y'all out. Simon ain't stay. It's three wins. Yeah, it's three wins. Three wins. Three wins. Three wins. Good boy. <laughs> What follows will make scientific history, but Steve Hartman has found some dogs that do terrific tricks. When Steve comes across that sort of thing, he makes it a part of life around here. Play dead, play dead, play dead. There's a big old doggy difference between wanting to learn and forcing the issue. Sit. Good girl. Between making excuses... He's very distracted in here. ...and letting your reputation do the talking. Joe Coon, dressing up right. Going out to catch a lady to take out tonight. Put those shades on. Threat is New Jersey's most famous pitfall. And not because Threat is much of one. Rather because people are always yelling out, No! Isn't that that dog that do tricks? Just one trick for my girlfriend, come on! Oh, look at that. Edward Franklin is a comedian, barber, rapper, everything but dog trainer. And as you'll see, that clearly is his calling. It started with one trick. So then I was like, let me teach him another trick. Then I started teaching him another trick, then another trick. Moonwalk, 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 knee, then another trick, knee, then another trick. And it just went on and on and on and on. Roll over, threat. Stay. Good boy. Bow. Stay. Sit down. Sit. Sit down. Good boy. Stay. Back leg. Stay. Other leg. Stay. Give me a kiss. Good boy. Stay. 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 All this and Thread is still the definitive watchdog. Come on. Oh, Don't right. worry. I'm told he's playing. Where does it all lead? Well, Edward's hoping for commercials. Edward says he wants Threat to be famous. And there you have it. Threat is an all-around dog. I think Edward to be famous. He's a wonder dog. He can do it all. I want to thank Steve. Steve Hartman, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. I love that dog. New York jo dog show, lots more still ahead. Uh, with the, the, the dog that has to be the most obedient this morning. Absolutely, very, very talented dog. What, what's the dog's name? I never asked you that. Oh, his name is Threat. Threat, okay, Threat. 
Threat's going to do some tricks for us while we uh, look at the weather this morning. Uh, cloudy skies right now at 63 degrees. You want to do a moonwalk? All right. Here we go, Threat. 63 degrees, relative humidity at 65 percent. Oh, that's great. Winds out of the west. You, uh, have you already made your decision on this? We've we've made our decisions and. Uh, Jane, do you want to get sure this for us? Our our third place winner is is Bo in the pink over here. Oh, yay, Bo! <laughs> our second place winner is Lucky the Yorkie over here. Oh, okay. Congratulations. And our our first place winner is Threat. <laughs> all right, <laughs> all right do, uh, Stephen, do you want to hand out the awards here for us? And uh, congratulations to all of you. Thank you all. Wow, yeah, do you have pets? You have a lot of, what do you have? A dog, have, cat, what do you have? Four Sharpays. Four Sharpays, those yeah. are those Japanese fighting dogs. Yeah, the, the wrinkly ones. Yeah, they make sushi. Yeah. Yes, exactly. All right, all right uh, where is he, Ray? What do I do? All right, there's, there goes Ray over there. It'd be funny if he never came back. And, and hey, who could blame him? Oh, look at that. Okay. What, what's the doggy's name? Uh, Threat. Threat? Yeah, Threat, Threat, to go with the characters I play. So, okay. And what he's going to do, he, uh, he, he's going he's gonna to... What kind of dog is that? It's a, it's a, it's a sharp pain pit bull. Oh, oh, man. Well, good so luck. So, he's, he's going he's gonna to moon dance. You know, he's going to do what? Moon dance. All right. Ready? Moon, moon, moon dance. Moon dance. Moon dance. Good boy. There he is. Let's take a look. Here it is. Ray and the doggy moonwalking. Wow. Man. Very impressive. A good looking doggy. Heck, actually, what, actually, what I did, I was so excited being on this program again with the elephant. I actually rented the dog to do the trick. Well, you rented that's not really your dog? 600 bucks. <laughs> I certainly appreciate that. We'll get it for you out of petty cash. Thank you. Uh, the, uh, the film is Unforgettable, opens February 23rd. It's yourself and whom else? Linda Fiorentino. Oh, well, this is a great cast. I hope it does great business Thanks. for everybody. Nice to see you. Thank you for everything. Ray Liotta, kids, we'll be back with Joel and Tyler. They certainly would be the first one there. He can already dance, he can act, so why not golf? Lee Thomas has more than a very talented pooch. Lee? This dog is truly amazing, Rosin, Rosin Greg. Uh, Edward Dot Franklin was just like any other Jersey City resident until about four years ago. That's when he got himself a puppy and started teaching him little tricks like sit, roll over, and the moonwalk. Well, now his dog has kind of given him a new name. A lot of people know me as Dot. But a lot now, when I walk down the street, oh, that's my man with the dog. My man with the dog that can inspire people to dance. Why? Because he can... Moonwalk! Without any gloves, this half pit bull, half sharpe named Threat does tricks even the king of pop would be proud of. I think he's the smartest dog in the world. And that's not a shot in the dark. His 29-year-old owner, Edward Doc Franklin, has taught his four-year-old friend a couple of tricks. Like the getting shot and slowly dying trick, and the roll over and over and over trick, with proud participation. And this is more than just a man playing with his dog. Okay, maybe it's not. But Doc still hopes he can change people's minds about pit bulls. I think I could, you know, clear the name of pit bulls, you know, and work with my dog and let people see that. When people hear the word moonwalk, and then they see the dog get up and just start going backwards. And they're, oh, the dog moonwalking. That's the dog that be moonwalking. Oh, man! Damn, Damn it! Damn it! Oh, I'm going to get over here. Yo, bring me one back too, man. Oh, face strong! What is that? Yo, that slam that him in his face, God! He's oh, face points, that guy! Yo, the game, the game going to be a... Woo! Easy boy. 
boy. Easy. Can't you take a joke? Time for our pet trick segment. We are starting with a dog. Well, I'll let him tell you. Here's Doc and his dog, Threat. Come on out, Doc and Threat. <laughs> from Jersey City, New Jersey. And what kind of a dog is this? This is a pit bull. Yeah, pit bull and Sharpe. Pit bull and Sharpe. Yeah. And uh, it's, um, your dog's name is? Threat. Threat. What's Threat going to do today? Well, we're going to rat, you know. And what, do you, what do you mean we? We. Me and my dog, Threat. Okay. Okay. And that Threat's going to rat. What else? And, in other words, in other in other words, from where we come from, Jenny means we're going to get our funky off. Okay. All right, you ready for some music? Yeah. Okay, let's hit it. Say ho. Say ho. Say Jenny Jones. Say Jenny Jones. What's up, what's up, Chicago? We gonna do it like this. I'm gonna tell y'all a little story about my dog. Okay, what year was that? Oh, oh man. Oh, 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 oh. It was 1991 when I got threat. He was a pit bull puppy, man, the perfect pet. Sit. And as I kick it to you, I'm going to tell y'all all the things that he used to do. He used to chew my shoes, steal my socks, chase 20 alley cats around the block. And time went on, I couldn't believe what I was singing. My dog started acting like a damn human being. He used to drink a whole six pack, get drunk as a skunk and lay out on his back. Like if that wasn't enough. He used to wake up in the morning and eat up all my Cocoa Puffs when he had to go. Woo! He used to sit up on two high legs like, yo, I realized threat was more than a pet. A friend to the end, but then again, he's more like an asset. He followed me so much he started stalking. I told threat to beat it. He started moonwalking. <laughs> Some chicken, finger licking. He got excited because he seen the grease dripping. He kissed another thing, begging me, please. I can't believe it. This dog getting on his knees. I know y'all saying it to yourself, man. How in the heck he kiss a smart threat? Take a bow. Pay attention to every word I say now. When I point my finger to the ground, that means to lay down. He's no red tint, man. Best friend of Rosa. When he see your girl, he want to get when he rolls over. And on, and on, and on, and on. And don't stop rolling till the break the dawn. Attack. Only if he has to. In other words, America don't mess with his master. I am convinced that we can do it all from the moonwalk. Bow, roll over, crawl. crawl. Give me a kiss. Thanks. Thanks. The first rapid pit bull in America. Back. 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 Back.
hands off, Brett will not let me touch him. When I say stop, he will. Sit. Hands off. Stop. Hands off. Stop. Hands off. Stop. Gotta love your dog. Hands off. Stop. Hands off. Welcome to start with a rapping duo, Doc and his dog, Threat. Ladies and gentlemen, I like to tell y'all a story. Let's go. Let's go. About my dog, Threat. And I think it goes like this. Um, say, it was 1991 when I got Threat. He was a pit bull puppy, the perfect pet. Sit. And as I kick it to you, I'm going to tell you all the things that he used to do. He used to chew my shoes, steal my socks, chase 20 alley cats around the block. And time went on, I couldn't believe what I was singing. My dog started acting like a darn human being. He used to drink the whole six pack. Get drunk as a skunk and lay out on his back. Uh, like if that wasn't enough. Woo! He used to wake up in the morning and eat up all my cocoa puffs. When he had to go, man, he used to sit up on two high legs like, yo. I realized threat was more than a pet, a friend to the end, but then again, he's more like an asset. He followed me so much, he started stalking, I told threat to beat it, he started moonwalking. <laughs> Damn. Woo! Say, ho! I'm eating some chicken, let's go, finger licking. He got excited cause he seen the grease dripping. He gets none of these, he's begging me, please. Mo, I can't believe it, man, that dog got it on his knees. I know you say it to yourself, man, how? In the heck you get some smart of threat, take a bow. Pay attention to every word I say now. When I put my finger to the ground, that means to lay down. He's a rinse and sit, man's best friend, a rover. When he see a girl he likes, he rolls over and on, and on, and on, and on. And don't stop rolling to the break to dawn. Woo! Attack, only if he has to. In other words, y'all, don't mess with his master. I am convinced that threat can do it all from a moonwalk, bow, roll over, even crawl. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the first rapid pit bull in America. That's it. When I say hands off, Brett will not let me touch him. When I say stop, he will. Brett, sit. Hands off. Hands off. Stop. Hands off. Stop. Hands off. Stop. Stop. Hands up, boy. Good, boy, good boy, let's go, Brett, let's go, Brett, shake it up, boy, good boy, go ahead, take it up, good boy, shake it up, boy, good boy, ah, good boy, that's my boy, yeah, boy, that's my boy, good boy, Brett, yeah, boy, oh! <laughs> there they are, Doc and Brett, good boy, let's go, come here, Jay, 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 Bap, 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 Bow. Yeah. Good boy. <laughs> up, jump up there. Isn't that great? That's Pee -pee. terrific, Doc. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, That's a good one. How long have you had him? Uh, six years. How long did it take you for to, for him to do all that? Well, about ten, ten months. He was doing about ten months. How did you figure that he could do it? Well. He was, one day I had him, he was like a puppy, and he was just, I was just bored one day, and I told him to sit. So at like a month, he was about a month, he used to sit there in the corner, and I walked down the street, and I said, come on, and he'd just run. And people go, oh, that was so cute, because he was so young. So I got a lot of attention from that. So I was like, oh, if I teach him another trick, I can get a little more attention. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, that's so, it, Doc. That's why you're here, because you get attention because of your pet. Yeah, yeah. A lot How was it with the girls? <sighs> Which, yeah, I'm making a move. So my girlfriend and I here first. All right. Uh, he's and what cool. Kind of, it's like, you know. And what kind of a dog is Threat? He's a pit bull and a shot pet. He's mixed. Uh huh. Yeah. He's and uh, th there's no problem with him. He's not violent at all. Nah, nah. He's level. Anybody in this audience can pet Threat. He, matter of fact, 
A lot of people say, where's this treat? Where's this treat? Well, this treat is affection. Have you ever tried to do it with other dogs? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's a puppy, and I work with him, and he was doing, like, tricks. And, you know, I haven't spent as much time with Threat uh, as with the puppy as I did with Threat. But well, you've done great smart. today for us. Thanks so much okay. for our opening act, Doc. Thanks so much, Doc.